Now that the primary elections are wrapped up, we're looking ahead to November. One thing Missourians may consider when casting their ballots is the economy. Our Missouri Capitol reporter Hannah Falcon talked with Missouri's top business group about which candidates it's endorsing. The Missouri Chamber of Commerce endorsed a bipartisan list of candidates following the primary election. Now I'm asking, what makes a candidate business friendly? 11 Republicans and three Democrats are being praised as good for business by Missouri Chamber of Commerce interim president Kara Korches. Which candidate is going to care about creating jobs in the state and which candidate is going to put the state first over their own political ambitions? One of those endorsed by the chamber is Republican governor nominee Mike Kehoe. You know, we ran for office originally for these guys and for you guys because Missouri needed somebody who understood Christian common sense family values and that knew how to sign both sides of a paycheck. The Democratic governor and lieutenant governor candidates are not endorsed by the Missouri chamber, so I asked Democratic lieutenant governor nominee Richard Brown how he hopes to appeal to the business community. Whoever said I was business unfriendly, you need a goodwill ambassador, somebody who's a good face for Missouri that says, hey, listen, we want your business, we want you to come here, but most importantly, we, we want the people here. Some things the chamber encourages business-minded voters to consider are how politicians stand on public safety. If businesses don't feel a certain region is safe, they're unlikely to relocate or expand there. So public safety and crime is of utmost importance. Missourians will vote on their next governor and many other officials on November 4th. Reporting in Jefferson City, I'm Hannah Falcon, KY3 News.